Hello and welcome to Laser Game Berlin. I would like to introduce to you the iCombat system, not the total line of iCombat, because I'm standing in front of a few different models here that reach from the Hero Blast system that I will introduce in a different video. That's the non gun system of iCombat, which gives the player the feeling of being a superhero, for example. But we also have got the Generation 1 entertainment system. We have the iCombat Tactical system, which is the most realistic laser tag system on the market with recoil and electroshocks. And we have the Invictus, the newest generation. But I will introduce to you today the IRSMG. The IRSMG is part of the entertain line but it's a little further a little more orientated to the tactical line so what we got here is a quite big phaser that is made of aluminum so it has a weight to it it's not the lightest on the market but it is very durable very robust and you can rely on it and it also gives a certain feeling of realism to the players this gun here has a metal body plus a few nylon fiber plastic parts on it. It has the ability to add a red dot to it. So if you want to have realistic aiming, just add a standard red dot to it and it will go along with it very well. And it has an extendable shoulder stock, which is very useful for different sizes of players. They can now be safe to play the game without getting bumped in the face because the shoulder is going to take all the pressure from any coll collision. Yes, I think it's collision. So you can use the shoulder stock to protect your players and it also gives a good feeling to them. You can use a um, sling to attach the gun to the player more securely, but that's just an option, so you are free to do whatever you like. Another detail on this gun is the fire selection switch here. It can go to safety position, it can go to single fire, and it can go to auto, which is a burst of three shots. Then we have a realistic trigger that has two stages and we have the option to add a magazine in here. The magazines hold the battery and I will introduce the uh, battery mags to you in a second. Then we have a mag release button. So if you want to reload during the game, you will have to push that mag release. And also we have this lever here, which is also part of the reloading system. I will introduce the reloading system to you in a minute. So that's what's integrated in that gun. It has an integrated sensor and a vibration as well. This vibration has the ability to simulate a recoil. It is not as heavy or as much as the tactical line with the CO2 driven recoil, but also gives a really good feeling to the players that are normally not used to having recoil in a laser tag system. In here, there are some holes which hold some buttons or hide some buttons. So the players normally won't get to touch them. Um, but for you as an operator, it gives you the options to do some settings and also some LEDs are implemented in here to show you the status of the gun. We have a USB plug in here for updating, which is normally sealed with a rubber plug. So normally you shouldn't have any problems with any dirt or something like that. As I said, I'm going to show you the batteries next. They come uh, in a battery charger, so you have the option to plug your batteries in here and then when they are charged and you are needing it, just pop them out and put them into your gun. So they power it up 
and they also simulate uh, the real mag. So if you have to reload your gun, all you have to do is to push that mag ejector here. It will pop out a few inches, like maybe half an inch or something. I'm not sure about inches, I'm a metric guy. So then you pop it back in and then you have to pull the lever here in order to reload. So at the moment the gun is set to safety position. So if I pull the trigger, nothing happens. If I set it to one shot, it will go like every time I pull the trigger, there's one shot and it's pretty loud. There are two speakers in here and you can set the volume in the software, I guess. If not, it's pretty loud. So don't get confused. It's really a good feeling on the gaming field. So we're pretty happy with that. I will now set it to auto, which I already mentioned is a three burst shot. And as you can see, at a certain point, the gun will change the sound. It's now empty and I will have to reload. I will show you the procedure once more. Just push that button here. It pops out a bit. I put, pop it back in and then still not reload it because I have to use that charging handle. And now we are ready to go again. That is how the IR SMG is working. You can operate it without any computer. It goes gun to gun, which has uh, two game modes, uh, which is free for all, of course, and team against team. You have a sensor in here, which covers three sides, left, right, and front. But normally you would combine this system with additional sensors that are on the body of the player, which makes a lot of sense, and the ICE software. The software of ICE comes in uh, three versions, which is a free one, a professional one, and a ranked version. We will explain all that on a different video, but the main option you would like to have is to put the players into teams and choose a lot of different games to play. So once you connect all that to the computer, the equipment will show up on a screen. You can assign it to the different players and run a game easily. But more importantly is that you can connect these guns to the gun sensors or the body sensors on the player. I will show you the headbands in two different colors, which is blue and black, but we also have like red and camo, for example. Camo is a camouflage pattern that is uh, grayish. So if you prefer that for your headbands, you can get that as well. And as you can see, we also have these vests, which cover the upper body of the player with six sensors on the front and four sensors on the back which is also all wireless so you don't have any cables hanging around tangling the players or something like that so if you want to add more sensors you have the free choice of having the gun only having the gun and the headband having the gun and the vest or all of it together so it's a pretty good choice for you to come along with the solution you would like to play with. So additionally to all the player setups, we also have things that make the games more interesting. If you have a laser tag system that only runs two game modes like free for all and team against team, then you will get stuck pretty soon with all the interesting games. So iCombat offers a lot of props that belong to the arena and will give you more options to play different games. As we can see here, we have this tube. This is a small tube with a button on it and it lights up green to indicate that it is in use at the moment. So this one does the respawning. So if I want the players not to respawn automatically, so shot that and wait for 10 seconds after that they get a new life. I can set the software up to respawn points 
and they will then respawn the players with a push of a button. You can place these respawn points anywhere and you can use as many as you like. So you can set up all kinds of different environments and game setups with these and uh, they are pretty handy because they're wireless as well. Just put them anywhere and they will run for the day. And we also have that addition here, which is the Dominator. Um, it is called like that because one of the main games you play with them is the game Domination. What it's all about? Domination is a game where you try to capture one of these points and defend them so it's in your team color as long as possible. If you shoot into that tube, it will get your team color. It will light up just as the uh, respawn pod in your team color, um, which can be red, blue, green and purple. And then they will score points for you. And the longer you have them in your team color, the more points you will score. If you have like three or more of them, you can also play Capture the Flag and Whack-A-Mole, for example, but there are more games to come. So, putting all that together, the IR SMG is a pretty good system for teenagers and up. I would not recommend to play that with kids use the Hero Blast instead, but it runs very well with players 16 and up and it's uh, in between with a standard laser tag system which is not very realistic and the Icon Tactical system which is a very realistic system with a CO2 powered um, recoil which is a lot stronger than the one in the IRSMG and electroshock options as well. So if you are into laser tag indoor, outdoor, a little bit more realistic than the rest then the IRSMG gives you a lot of options and a good quality for a reasonable price so take a look on this system ask any questions you like so if you have any questions left please get in touch with us and we will answer all your questions as good as we can. We are looking forward for your request and I say thank you for your time and your interest. So goodbye and hope to see you soon.